So I've just popped up to Stainburn to test out my new tyre. So I've gone for Magic Mary Super Trail 2.4 by 29er. But I've got it in the purple Ultra Soft. I've never run such a sticky tyre before. I've always mainly gone for fast rolling tyres front and rear because I'm an XC rider at heart. But I'm always compromised on descents. So I thought I'd go to the other end of the spectrum and have a super sticky, gnarly front tyre where I can just rail descents. So I'm just going to go down the red just to find the grip and get a bit confident on it and I'll send it down the descent line. The climb up the red, it didn't feel any different even though it's an ultra soft. Got up here just as easy, so that's a good start. I will come up on the road though, see what it's like on tarmac. Right, let's drop into the red, see what it's like. Right, let's go. I've got trust issues, so I'll just take it easy. See how sticky they actually are. See what I can get away with. over in these little corners. Feels nice. I won't go down the drop off, I'll just head back to the car park. Because I'll do a tarmac test now. Back up to the um, descent line. So it feels okay, tarmac. I thought I'd hear that friction, what you get from a sticky tyre on tarmac. I can't really hear a thing. Yeah, this is alright. Yep, this is fine. I was worried about putting this tyre on and it's spoiling my um, XC riding. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit slower than a knobby nick on the front, but. Jesus Christ, it's a Magic Mary Ultra Soft. <laughs> they don't feel too bad. Right, we're back up at the top. So I'm going to hit the descent line now. Right, let's go. So I've kept it at 16 PSI. Quite firm still, it's a very stiff tyre. When I unboxed it, it actually stands up on its own. Yep, loads of grip through there. Pretty loose is this top section at the burn. Still being cautious because it's my first run. I think I can drop a PSI there. Right, to keep down to 15. Feels lovely and plush on the front end. Lovely and plush on the rear end with this uh, new coil. Slipping ever so slightly on the front. I can feel a grip. It's immense grip, but just sliding just a touch. 
So I just need to take a bit more pressure out. I might cure that. So it feels all right on this black climb. The third gear going up here. Yeah, that was my biggest concern about running this tyre. Rolling resistance seems to be okay. That noise, by the way, is the cassette. It is knackered. It got to the point where I couldn't even put a new chain on it because it had worn that much. So I've just been running the chain and the cassette together until they're both tossed. And that is now. So all right, in these gears, it's just the first gear. So I'll be ordering a new cassette. Another 300 quid. That is why I have one bike. <laughs> one bike to maintain. So I'll get that ordered tonight because it's not going to get any better, is it? I think I'm going to go for gold next. That's copper, believe it or not. Right, back at the top. I'll just pop to my van and get the gauge out and drop the pressures down. I think I'll try 14 psi. And I've got my lovely girlfriend with me today, reading their book. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. You're not bored, are you? Mm. Just making my way up the wall line climb now. So I'm going to do a few trails over this side. So good now going over that bog. Now it's been all stoned up. It's been right bitch to get over there. Yeah, so I went back to my van then. Changed the pressures. Put 14 in the front. Now check the rear and it's got 18 in it. Yeah, very low pressures, but these small tires in super trail they are very very good for snake bite the super trail car because has a really thick bit of rubber down at the bead comes about an inch up the tire so it just completely eliminates snake bite meaning I can run real low pressures I switched to Schwalbe at the beginning of 2019 and I've had one puncher. One puncher what's got me on the trail side with the bike upside down. That used to be nearly every ride with the Maxis. And they're quite weighty tyres. I mean, this Magic Mary on the front weighs 1150 grams. Heavy tyre, but for that weight, you get peace of mind. That's going to hold out. Right, we're chatting with you guys. It's uh, Learn by getting up this climb. It's good to chat, isn't it? Or in my case, I'm just talking to myself in the middle of the woods like a crazy person. ultimate grip so I think I'll just head straight for Uncle Bruce's and then come straight back and do a few next to where the van is but over this side and the best bit so even though my girlfriend says yeah everything's fine she's such a nice girl that I don't want to just say that so I have fun so I'll quickly get down here and get back do a few trails and that'll be it that'll be about an hour she's happy reading the book so i'm sure she's all right all right let's see if i can clear this right power oh, 
Beautiful. I'll go down point and shoot. Get back up to the main path. <laughs> I think they just froze. <laughs> I don't think I was expecting a bike coming shooting down there then. Right, here we go, Uncle Bruce's. I'm going to proper go for this in 10th gear. Right, let's have it. pedal as much as I can. Try and keep the power down because this is still a segment. for this again. Change to eight for this corner. Back in ten. Trying to get a PB. I can't freewheel it, I've got a pedal. There at the end. Jesus. Right, I'll drop into this one. This is a nice rough techie one. Fair over here in this loam, any tyre feels all right. Very smooth rolling on this front end. Kind of got rid of the chatter. Good. Enjoyed that. Go straight on back to the wall line climb. And I'll head to the viewing point now and um, do that last descent there. So I thought I'd have a go at this trail first, which starts at the mast. Not done this in years. It's kind of taking me where I want to be at the viewing point, so may as well go down it. I can't remember it at all, but right, let's go. Oh, nice. 
There we are at the viewing point. What a lovely view of the area from here. Stunning. Right, let's drop into this one then. Bit tight to start then it um opens up. There we go. It's a tight bit. So much grip. Let me down. There we go, back at the car park. Yeah, good tyre test. Confidence inspiring is uh, the words I've used to describe it. And for an ultra soft, it um, rolls okay. Time will tell on a big XC ride. With lots of tarmac sections, but yep, so far so good. Right, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you on the next one.